We're getting very low on medicine, building materials, and fuel. Now, fuel, we're not too desperate, but building materials, we need to upgrade our base. We want to get our workshop to the next level. I believe we can, at the next level, craft Molotov cocktails, which would be great. Medicine, we obviously need, because we actually have a daily use of medicine. So actually minus two, because we're level two infirmary now. I did not realize that. So we are getting very low. One more day and we are absolutely out. So high priority medicine right now. And we have a couple of buildings here. What is this over there? I'm going to check this out first. So I didn't realize that I didn't check that out. And I'm, I thought we had this building checked out, but I might do that on the way home. So this here is a military stash. So then we might find something useful there, like a weapon. And then from there, we're going to head over here to the free clinic and the billboard before we go to the free clinic. I usually would try to avoid the horde, but the problem is they're literally in the way of us going where we need to go. So I think what we should do is maybe get their attention and then just plow through them. And now we just use the door. There we go, and the last one. Excellent, and that wasn't too much damage. This car has not got a good turnaround. <laughs> it's very slow on the turn, so let's stay right here. And let's have a look over here what we get. Oh, look at that. We have a secret entrance here. Let's see what we can find in here. I mean, an ammunition bag is not bad at all. It's not what we need right now, but not gonna say no to it. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. It's a hiking backpack. This is 12 pounds and this one is only eight pounds. So look at the weight going down. Well, not right now because we have the other backpack in our inventory, but this is so sexy. That what, what a perfect find before we go on our scavenging hunt for today. Yeah, today most of the episode, if not all of it, we are going to focus on gathering resources that we need. And maybe if we're lucky, scope out a second outpost, food outpost. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna actually equip that. Let me quickly do a reload on that. Because I think in an emergency, having a loud gun is better than no gun. So I definitely think that's worth it. We're not going to keep the extra bullets. We're going to drop that off actually at home Looks before we go. Me. Nothing here. And then the last one. Beautiful. Oh, that was a really nice find. Let's drop all these things off here. Oh, nice. Somebody dropped in some uh, supply lockers. Yeah, we're going to ignore that screamer. And we're going to head over here now to the billboard before we're going to go into the free clinic. Also, another thing I want to do quickly is I want to head down to this enclave here. And I want to check them out. Um, I completely forgot that we can actually look at their options. Maybe we're lucky and somebody has medicine. Hey, you. Hey, Clyde. Learn about Survivor. So you have law. Yeah, you're low on stamina, but you have good health. Glad to see you're still in one piece. Oh, you actually have double dose and utilities. I don't really know what utilities does. And where's the third guy? He, oh, there he is. So, hey, Tommy, how are you? Let me see what you got. You're also utilities. Okay, there's another enclave I might want to check out today as well, if they're not unfriendly. But let's go to the billboard and see if we can find anything new. Okay, there's quite a few Zeds around. Let's get out. Get that stamina back. There we go. Beautiful. I think the main key always to everything in this game is to stay calm. Well, unless you come across a feral, then you panic, run around in circle and scream fire, 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 fire. <laughs> I also up the gamma actually Am I the a little only bit. One who feels like we're seeing more and more infestations around here? Oh, please don't. Do we have another infestation close by? Oh, there's one up there. Oh, that's not good. That's two of them. Oof. Okay, so if we're gonna get... I have no more Molotovs. So if I can get my hands on some Molotovs, or we can upgrade our workshop and then craft them ourselves. That's enough for now. All right, let's head over here to the uh, free clinic. 
What is this? Wow, okay, there's a container right here on the outside. Sure, I take it. Oh, beautiful. That is awesome. Very lucky. Um, I might actually put the circuit breakers and I put both of them in here for now. Looks quiet. There's a container right here on the outside as well. These containers don't seem to belong to anybody. They're awesome. Is it, do we find like more parts and circuit boards in them? Oh, wow. The same thing again. So these must be electrical power containers or something. Okay, there's definitely somebody in there. Hmm, okay. I don't want to go in there with that noise. Let's have a look around here first. Okay, I think we can kind of sneak past. There we go. Nice. No need to get ourselves into a hoof. Okay, nobody in here. Nothing moving around here but the living. Oh, okay. I panic there. When that noise happens, I panic always a little bit. We have six containers here. Oh, that could be interesting. Oh, yes. Sun oh, I thought it was chemicals. It's hand sanitizer, which is, I think, a commodity. I think that's what it was. But if we can get more parts here, that would be great. Ah, here we go. Here's the medical rucksack. I'm not going to fast loot here. Not in the middle of the night. I know the plague heart is gone in this specific area and we shouldn't get any plague zombies. Nonetheless, I don't want a chance of getting overrun in a small room here. Okay, maybe we get some more chemicals here. I mean, it is a medical facility. So ethylene, and ethylene or whatever it's called, a medical uh, chemical supplies would be great. Oh, what is this? A power tool. High quality tools. Equality suited uh, to a hobbyist garage or job site. Install this modern workshop to drastically speed facility action. Barely lift this. All right. Yeah, that seems to be very heavy. But we have our trusty steed outside. Excellent. One more. So this outpost we could take, I guess, for a bonus in medicine. But I There's rather to salvage here. Okay, what is that? Consumables. Oh, smoke grenade. That is going to be so handy, especially when we get caught in a horde or something. Until we have molotovs, smoke grenade would be great. We're still very close to the other enclave here, so I think I might just jog over there. I'm not going to take the car. It's too loud and it's only a short distance, so I might jog over here quickly and just sell the luxury items. Didn't realize there was also a car we can loot right here. Yeah, he's not interested. He can't hear us. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. This just made my day. Oh, no, the luxury items. That's that's awesome. And we were on our way to sell them. When I was a boy, oh, mainland America seemed like a dream. I'd launch toy boats at the shore, hoping they'd reach a land I never could. When I was part of the army, I fought for that dream. I'm with Red Talon now, but my purpose Ooh. hasn't changed. Do you know what? I'm gonna buy those Molotov cocktails because I don't have any right now and I don't know how, how much it takes uh, to craft them. And can I buy a single? Can I buy one? I just want to buy one of those so I have three in my inventory. Okay, good. Okay, let's get back to the car and loot the other three buildings. Um, I think we're gonna have to take the infestations on today regardless of what we do. Here we go. I don't want anything to jump onto our hood. It's a nice little coffee shop. Oh, I thought that was a feral. That little piece of paper looked like a zombie on all fours. Hey, I'm getting PTSD from the feral. Oh, that is a lot of noise. Oh, more luxury items we can sell. Oh, big horde coming up there. 
Okay, we have to be careful here. Don't make too many loud noises. We can avoid the horde, hopefully. Just be careful. Nice, more luxury items. Especially getting caught inside this place would be terrible. How do we get in there? Ooh, they're getting close. Yeah, I don't think they're worth it. I think if you kill them, you just get 10 influence and potentially risking our health and getting severely injured. It's, it's just not worth it. There we go. Let me see. What do we have here? Let's put this in. And then sell the luxury items. Are these guys coming? Oh, my balls. They're actually coming over here. Do you know what I'm going to do? Ha! That should be fun. Look at that. Hopefully, we can do that. Hey, guys. I think we have enough energy for that. Let's bring them into the enclave. Hey guys, I brought some friends. Man, looks like we got a horde hanging around. Yeah, you guys deal with it. <laughs> we need help over here and you're the best folks for the job. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just don't think the horde was very inconveniently placed. Oh, we have actually somebody coming in. No, he's turning around. Beautiful. Be aware. I should hit it again. Nice. Oh, that is lovely. And we got the 10 influence and that did all the work. Hey guys, I think you did really well. <laughs> I'm looking to do some trading. Cool, sounds good. Okay, let's head over here, check this building out. Then we're gonna check this out. We're gonna drop everything off and then we're gonna head over to that enclave. Okay, where's the entrance to this place? Oh, here it is, okay. Sorry. Let's leave the car here. No, wrong button. Okay. There we go. Nice. You can't keep this up. Oh. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I didn't see them sprint, jump. There we go, nice. Get the stamina, stamina back. Okay wasn't the best. It wasn't the best, that's for sure. But it worked out nicely in the end. Okay, now we can bring the car a little bit forward as well. It's just this car is so slow, it's not as easy to actually um, reverse over them and maneuver everything. But let's make sure we are covering the hood better. Here we go. See what we got here. Ooh, is this a weapons crate? That would be sexy. And this is not belonging to the base, so we're finding these random crates outside as well. That is really nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna equip that. Thank you. Let's make sure we have it fully reloaded. Does it have a silencer on it? Hang on a second. Did we just find something that has a handmade suppressor already on it? That is sweet. 
Oh, I love this. Okay, um, I'm going to take the bandage and actually going to use it. I'm going to put the ammunition away. Let's, let's use it. No more of that. Ah, yeah, I didn't get rid of what we have here, so let's head inside here and see what we can find. Okay, it's a food store. There's zombies remaining. So we have to be careful. Oh, we're actually in this one. I went too far. I wanted to go to the other one first. But that's okay. Any containers out here? Yeah, there's some shelves here. It's actually only two containers. So we might not even have to worry about the zombies if we get the rucksack right now. I suppose we can do something with this. That was pretty intense. Could have done a lot of things much better. Okay, that's it. So let's head over to the building that I meant to go to. Is there anybody coming? Okay, it's very quiet. Be careful here. I think I saw a zombie lurking over there. Oh, chemicals! Eleven chemicals. These infestations. Nice. They're gonna deal with us. Yeah, we're gonna have to take care of infestations. I think um, that should that would be the third infestation. <sighs> okay. Oh, beautiful. So there's nothing behind us. Yeah, he's somewhere over there. That's fine. Oh, yes. A Molotov as well. Beautiful. Just before we go home, there's a screamer somewhere here. Let me just see. Yeah, there he is. Let's see if we can pop him. There we go. Okay, let's drop the medicine in, which is the most important right now. There we go, beautiful. And yeah, let's leave the ammunition here as well. I'm just gonna do the reload so we have one extra bullet in the magazine. There we go. And I might actually leave the pistol here as well. That way we're traveling a little bit lighter because this weapon is obviously a bit heavier. There's one more shack here, actually, we can check out on the way to the Enclave. Let's do that. Oh, it's a little... It's right beside the farm where it's, that is our outpost. I think we attracted some attention here. There we go. I think that's it. So the reason I don't execute them, I want to get more into the habit of throwing them than executing them. So this site may contain fuel, actually, which is also something we need. Oh, weapon, heavy weapon, okay. Nice. Oh, this is really good. Uh, backpack, ultra light, though, um, but only six s slots. I have another... Luxury item which we can sell. How do I get to this one here? Oh, from behind. Good. Just have to be careful that there's no zombie coming from the bushes. Okay, cool. Not a bag, but nonetheless, we couldn't know. We didn't know. Let me actually go over there to our food outpost and then I can dump all that stuff in and we can see if we can dismantle some things. I know you can dismantle weapons, which we could do as well for parts. Um, I don't know if you can dismantle backpacks. So this is our food outpost here. Let's uh, put everything in. And let's have a look um, through here. Can we dismantle that? No, we can take it and equip it. We can salvage these things though. I might get rid of the second axe because this one is already a bit broken as well. So let's get rid of one axe. There we go, yes. Beautiful, and now we have some spare parts as well, which is great. And let's take out the summer luxury items. 
so we can offload them onto the enclave. The enclave was overrun as I got there and one of them jumped me. I couldn't see him in the dark, so that's desperate. Oh, terrible. Well. Do we need more of these? Well, never can have enough, that's for sure. But we're gonna keep that one. That's what I get for getting greedy with influence. Hey, nice to see you. Come on in, hang out. All right, um, trade with Enclave. Happen. Cool, sounds good. You have loads of influence points to the left, so I'm definitely gonna be able to get rid of all of that. Beautiful, I like it. Do you know what, I'm gonna keep my strong medication, but I'm gonna take one of those bandages here. I'm gonna be using that. No more of that. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's meet the other enclave. Um, we might have to switch character before we do the infestation, but um, right now, we're still okay. We're still okay. I guess that's what I tell myself. You can stay, but you better not make any trouble. Well, there's a couple of Blake zombies here I wouldn't mind bringing along. Let me see if I can get their attention. Hey, guys. Okay. There we go. Can you guys take him out? Thank you. Ah, oh, we didn't get any freebies. Okay. Let's talk to these guys and let's get to know them. Don't make me regret talking to you. Um, learn about Survivor. Oh, Assault Specialist. Okay, what do we have here? Well then. Weinberg. Another assault. Okay, you actually don't have, sorry, you don't have a fifth. Um, yeah, it's me. I think we can help each other out. Sure. Oh, look at you. You have absolute amazing amount of weapons. Holy professional suppressor. Wow. That would be really nice. Does that mean it's a, it's a sidearm that always has a suppressor on? There would be a lot of influence, though, to buy that. I'm not sure if I should buy that. Yeah, you guys definitely have some interesting stuff. We gonna be okay here? So let me check out. Um, learn about survivor. Oh, hygiene. Okay. And you I didn't have any here. other traits, did you? Yeah, you have also no fifth trait. Yeah, let me search these two sheds. We might find some building materials, which we desperately need as well. We're not having a lot of luck with um, medicine. One shed is right here beside it. I have a car here. Oh, gun arts. Oh, this place could have some... Oh, nice. We can sell that to the enclave. Very good. Let's see what we have inside here. Oh, crap. Hello. This is Lily Ritter from the network. As some of you know, I grew up in a place called Trumbull Valley. The valley has seen tough times, like everywhere else. But it's bouncing back thanks to the strong folks who live there. If you're looking for a good place with yeah, good we're gonna people, sell that. you should find your way to Trumbull Valley. I don't want to do the sheriff quests, to be honest. Um, I'm going to sell that decoy as well. I don't need them right now, and we have one at home as well in case we want to try it out. Oh no, there's somebody coming in. That's pretty heavy. Whew, that was close. Oh, how did he get me through the fence? You little bastard. Wow, I can't believe you. Got me right through the fence. Okay, let's drop this off. And... We have quite a lot of heavy weapons, so I'm actually going to sell all that to the Enclave. Actually, I'm going to scrap those heavy heavy um, weapons at home, because we have a lot of them. Oh. Hi. Uh, trade with Enclave. Some trading. Sure, sounds good. There we go. Thank you. So the next building is right here. It's also right beside the house. And then after that, I have to go home. I'm going to have to change character before we go into any infestations. Okay. 
going far with all this. There's one more container here. Oh, there, it's actually right here. It's a lot of looting in this episode. Oh, yes, the first aid kit. Nice. And another hiking pack. Yes. Oh, this is great. I'm going to use that. Uh, actually. no. Oh. Yeah, we need this wave point. Let's do this wave point before we go home. Enclaves have new items for trade. Oh, I didn't know they refresh them every now and then as well. Oh, that's cool. We can check them out on the way home and see if they have any bags or anything interesting. Been saving Maybe up my influence. This to someone. Oh, awesome. I forgot to drop off everything into my truck as well. I'm gonna keep that. Restore max health. Kind of heavy, but when you need it... I think we maybe do use this. Loss to trauma or injuries up to 50 max health for no more than three injuries. Let's use it and see if it fully heals us. Oh, that's awesome. Excellent. So now all he is is tired. Oh yeah, and this. Is there anything else to loot down here? I don't see anything. Have a quick look around. All right. There we got some plague zombies. Nah, I'm not gonna waste my ammunition. Let me just sneak up on them. Okay, let's bring him forward. Oh! He broke free. I didn't realize that. Can't catch my breath. go yeah i didn't realize that it actually takes up a lot of stamina so yeah let's quickly go up here and then we have to get our friend home to get some rest okay let's see what we can find we already got the free clinic Got a bloater in the vicinity. There we go, that's the bloater gun. Let's see what else we got. Broken down shed. Okay, plague heart in sight. Okay, there's a plague heart here. Another plague heart. Infestation. That's enough for now. All right, I just checked with the Enclave that didn't really have anything new, but I bought a mechanic book because I couldn't remember if I have one already. I probably do. <laughs> so, and I bought some fuel as well. So let's put that all away. Found a plug, pl plug plague as well. And let's empty everything. Here we go. And let's put the weapon away, put all this away. And let me see, fuel wise, yeah. We're gonna have to keep bringing out that slow van because it just fits a lot more loot in the back. I'm gonna scrap a couple of uh, heavy weapons. Let's destroy these ones that have low enough down. There we go. All right, you did really well, So, but we're gonna check you in. Um, yeah, it should. We're gonna check you in. And I think I'm gonna take Dory out again. I think Dory's our warlord, and she's the one I really want to get um, leveled up high enough because I want to do the warlord quest unless we find a trader or builder. Okay, we're gonna take Dory out with the AK-47 with the handmade suppressor on it. We're gonna have the Molotov with us. Um, should we take more Molotovs with us? Can we take more Molotovs with us? Might as well, because it's gonna be infestation time. We're getting close on the first infestation. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. Let's just back up. Let's test that new weapon out. It's like a big stick. But uh, it's uh, one of the guys dropped that off earlier, and it's amazing. It has only 1.5 weight, 
but it's has a higher lethality and knockdown than the baseball bat. It's amazing. Okay, so let's uh, stay low. Oh, three screamers. Are you kidding me? Let's take this guy out, the roaming guy. He was not part of them. Ah, uh, there we go. Wow, okay. There they are. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. So if we run away and then throw the Molotov behind us, it would be great. Okay, they've seen me. Come on. Fire in the hole! There we go. Okay, that was a waste of one Molotov at least, but it was worth it. Okay, there's a screamer right there, I think. There he is. Can't really see if that is his head or not. Yeah, I think that's his legs. Shoot him in the leg, make him come down. Nice. Okay, he's screaming. Nobody coming though? Because everybody's already dead. Okay, well, one per. Oh, there he is. Okay, do it. Ah, oh, damn it! These silly cars were in the way. Go. Okay, let's take him. That's the last one. I feel one. much better now that we've gotten rid of some of these infestations. Yeah, I have to not fight close to walls or cars, anything that could basically block our um, maneuverability. Now, that house, what does it have to offer? Probably nothing important. This place seems clear for now, but I know that won't last. Yeah, let's have a look and at least uh, go through some of the loot in the rooms. Well, I can hear noise. Yeah, I was just about to say. Let's go upstairs. There's no loot here. Hey, if you could lend us a hand with something, we'd really owe you one. Yeah, there's nothing we can find here, I think. Let's go to the next house. Okay, here we go. It's actually a shed. Okay, let's take these guys. I'm about to drop. Okay, I'm gonna have to really uh, practice my attacks. I had it perfectly lined up and then the one person she attacks is the one that I don't want to attack. Okay, three screamers. Okay, that is not good. Let's see if I can see them. And then we just throw a Molotov at them, hopefully. Where are they? Can't see them at all. They're behind in the second building. Oh, I think so. You know what? I'll need more of that soon. Let's see if that worked. One screamer down. Oh, there they are. And that's all I have.
Two more screamer left. Let's see if we can see them here by the window. I think there's one. No. Oh. Interesting. You can't shoot through the windows. That is interesting. Okay, two more zombies left here somewhere. Well, not in here. Before I loot, I want to get rid of that infestation though. They're probably around the house or maybe in here, in the shed. go that's it all done holy balls definitely worth it though because i think our morale is going up a little bit uh infestation spotted another one. Oh yeah there's three more down there i think we should start looking at taking these play cards out here but i'm gonna need some more building materials but first um Let's see what we can loot here. There's loads of loot here. We're gonna find potentially two rock sites. Wow, well, it's not really anything special. Okay, our wits have maxed. Uh, let's check that out. Stealth, quicker sneaking, quieter interactions, increased scouting range, enemy detection, and gun durability. So I have scouting on Chad, I think, or Chud. Quicker sneaking, quieter interactions, and reduced visibility to enemies. When I'm sneaking, I don't really have an issue. It's the... Yeah, I think I like this better. Yeah, I, I just really enjoy scouting. Um, it's very nice. Okay, we got another heavy here, another... Blunt weapon. Found something. Oh, nice. Another crossbow? Oh yes. That's a lot of stuff. Keeping it on the quiet. Yeah, I can see you there, Mr. Plague Zombie. Check out this oh yes, that is awesome. Can we open this door? No. Ah, okay, she's coming in. It's... Reload. That should be just doing target practice. Uh, that's that's the only reason why I wanted to uh, use the crossbow. Another couple of plague zombies would be okay. Two more containers. We already have uh, the ammunition. I think there's another food rucksack potentially. There we go. We have 18 ammunition. Uh, should we break this down? If broken up, this rucksack will be replaced by a handful of loose rounds. Because we have 18 ammunition anyway, so we're okay for the moment. Okay, there's one of the plague zombies coming around. Let's see if we can hurry up here. I think I'm done searching here. Yes. Oh, and we got a bolt back. Nice. And I think there was a bolt, <laughs> a free bolt in here. Okay, I think that's it. 
Let's check out this enclave before we go home. And I think this I episode is running for quite a while now as well. Here. So um, the building materials, we're just going to have to go. If the infestations wouldn't have been a problem, I would have focused on getting um, the building materials. But let's check out this enclave. Oh, wow. There is a lot of oof, lake zombies. Okay, let's actually see what the loot is like. We might find something that we can even sell to them. Okay, good. Appreciate that. Where's it gone? Just want to make sure we also take um, a shot every now and then at them close by in case we get um, a plague sample. Okay. Oh yes, I haven't had uh, found for one of these in ages. Very nice. I think that's all the loot out here. So let's head inside and talk to the Enclave and see what they got for us. That's all nice stackable stuff. Um, yeah, let's leave that here. And ethanol is heavy, so this one's very light. So I'm gonna do it this way around. Okay, let's do it. Let's talk to these guys and see if any of them is a medic. Hey there, stop on in for a while. Hey you, Annette, how are you? Learn about the survivor. Let's, uh, Let's trade see what first. We have here. Of course. Okay, what do you have? Oh, you have building materials. Yes, I'm gonna take that. Thank you. A coffee. Is that better than the stamina drink? Restore stamina consumable, postpone fatigue. Oh, that's actually really nice as well. But yeah, very lucky on the rucksack. Um, very much enjoy this that we got this now. So um, let's see going? what they are. Learn about Survivor. Uh, utilities. Oh, that. some of them already have very high level engineering. Okay, that's nice. Staying safe out there. And cooking. Yeah, not really anything um, for us. Okay, we have a horde here. Okay, let's bring the horde over and let them deal with it. Hey, guys. Are they not gonna fight them? There we go. Let's bring these guys over. Hey guys. Oh yeah, I rock. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's another container. I'm gonna go through the house and out the back. <laughs> And then I'm gonna come around the front again and join in the fight. I'm about to drop. Are we getting so much better at this? Nice. Yeah, we're getting much better at the shuffling, uh, shuffling them into each other. Yes, beautiful. I might actually um, scout out some more areas before we leave. Well, I found the play card that's actually responsible for it, um, which is this. Oh, there's actually a rare skills trader here. We're gonna have to check him out, but this is the play card we're gonna have to take out next time. It's right there in the shed. Right now, I couldn't fight it. I don't think so. We definitely have to go fresh character and do it then. 
but I'm gonna take the car down and um, check the rest skill trader. So the trader seems to be in here. Uh, hello? Anybody here? Nobody followed me? I better keep looking elsewhere. Oh, is he not in here? Yeah, let him fall out. Oh, where's the skill trader? Okay, up there. Oh, I think we found him. Oh, this is not plague territory, is it? Is it free? Oh, that's amazing. Because if this is free territory here, we might find um, one an outpost here. That would be amazing. Okay, let's check out what you got first. Um, learn about the survivor. Eyes oh, a mechanic. We can't hire them anyway, I think. So, Ajit, what do you have? Let's see what we have here. Yeah, why not? Whoa, okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Do you have... No, no medicine. Uh, contriving fishing. Like technology. Oh, like technology allows a character to produce two meds for the community each day. Oh, that would be good. Okay, it would be all our influence. I mean, let's make some room with our seats. Recycling allows a character to produce two materials and 25 parts for the community each day. That's actually really good. Um, Scrum certification allows the survivor to provide additional two labor for the community as well as a huge speed boost to facility actions. Teaches one survivor as much as they learn about shopping. Sewing increases survivor's health. Soundproofing reduces threat. I think this one is a must. And that would sort out our actual current medicine problems. And if I'm actually looking at my community right now, I think there's two people who... Okay, we have movie trivia here. They have a free slot and we have a free slot. So we have two people that have free slots. So we could make, theoretically, someone still um, a physician or whatever it is. Unless like technology is actually that type of physician or whatever. But yeah, I think we should definitely buy that. Would Let's you like to it. trade? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. And you know what? I'm going to loot everything here just in case I find something I can trade back to you as well. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we get lucky. Um, okay, more seeds. Nice. Another food backpack. We actually have a lot of food right now. I think I have three food backpacks in total, uh, like between the truck and myself. Empty. Oh, we got three bags of snacks and a bottle of painkillers. Nice. Is that it? Okay, if we claim this. Passive food collection. Oh, do we get food from this? Hang on a second. Outposts can be up to 300. I don't have enough influence, but... But, let me sell what I can. Would you like to trade? And then yeah, we can take it. So, let's sell the seeds. Um, yeah, let's do the weapons. That's the a lot of weapons. stuff. How about we see what we've got? Sure, I guess so. We need a hundred more. Is there anything else I can get rid of? I don't want to really get rid of the chemicals or this, so... How much do we get for the gas can? Actually, we have a lot of food. What, what do we get for a food bag? Okay, let's see what you've got. Sure, I it. guess so. And we're gonna do the ammunition. Oh, damn it. And then one of those. There we go. Okay, good. So now we can take over that outpost. Oh. What do you mean requirement requires 300? I have that. It says outpost can be claimed. Okay, maybe this is a bug. Or maybe it's because the trader is here. All right, so how long before the trader uh, disappears? three hours and 50 okay yeah we can't undo this now but um it's a pity i can't take this over we're gonna have to drive have to drive up here next time take this over and um this will be a very good um area to drop things off because then we have one all the way down here one all the way up there and in the middle here we can just start taking out the play cards 
Home sweet home. So let's see who we're gonna be able to um, give the book to. Let's hunt everything in. Some more building materials. Nice. Awesome. Let's put it all away. And that's it. Beautiful. So I think I want to make Chad my uh, whatever that is, lichen specialist. <laughs> so let's give him the book and see if he can use it. Always nice to learn something new. So it looks like Lycanology is only a one star and we can't really upgrade it. But to be fair, it has knowledge of gardening, knowledge of herbalism and plus two meds per day. So regardless five stars or not, I think that's a very good bonus. But not only that, what it unlocked right away is um, the ability to convert two boxes of seeds to an extra plus meds a day. Also, I want to quickly go into here and um, salvage these things here. And um, that's just extra stuff we found. Not um, We're not gonna be able to use it for anything else. And we also should see if we can make another uh, blood plague sample. Yes, we can. Excellent. Um, I know that took two medicine, but that is important for us to fight the play card in the next episode. We have two of them now, which is great. So just in case we get really hit rough with um, plague sickness or whatever it's called. Now this one here, let's see what that converts into. All right. Here we go. Let's say these def This is Cleo. Observed population density in area designated Trumbull Valley is beneath baseline target. Citizens are instructed to relocate to area designated Trumbull Valley at their earliest convenience. Uh, sorry folks, <laughs> just a little radio <laughs> malfunction there. Please, go about your business. Okay, that was just weird. So anyway, what is happening now? Does that mean it gives us, yeah, we get plus one a day. Garden mats. So can, is that permanent now? So let me see if I click on this again. We'll improve gardens is plus food day. Oh, it converts it. Oh, I see. So instead of plus food, we get plus meds. Oh, that is interesting. And this one gives us plus 100% meds per day. Oh, this is awesome. So we can convert that to either give us food or meds. So if I go here now, we're losing the minus two food again. But that's actually really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the one boxes, uh, the one box seed, and activate this. And then in three minutes and twenty, it means it will give us extra meds, which means we get plus two meds. So tomorrow we're gonna be back at five meds, and that will stay for an hour and thirty minutes, I guess. Um, so at least for the night. And then in the morning we get the extra meds, which is great. Food, we definitely have enough. But yeah, this is it. I'm learning a lot of stuff or recalling a lot of stuff because I haven't played this in over four years. So a lot of it is still like basically new to me. Um, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, fish pass and happy gaming.